So Spain is famously known for tortilla de patatas, the classic Spanish potato omelet. Today we're making a different version from the north of Spain, but more specifically the beautiful region of Cantabria. We're talking tortilla santanderina. This is basically a Spanish potato omelet that's topped off with tuna salad and then a regular omelet. And let me tell you, not only does this dish have a beautiful presentation, but it's got the most incredible textures and flavors. Folks, we're talking easy to make, the simplest ingredients, and as always, the kind of food that's gonna fill you with so much goodness. This video is sponsored by Tienda.com. La Tienda is an online superstore focusing on selling all things Spain for your home and kitchen, and they've been around since 1996. And like I always tell you, they have the biggest selection of artisan Spanish ingredients, like queso manchego, the famous jamón serrano and jamón ibérico, marcona almonds, olives, the beautiful canned seafood from Spain, and all the spices you need to make all your favorite Spanish recipes, among so many other great ingredients. And let me tell you, when it comes to cookware, they have an amazing selection of authentic Spanish paella pans that range in size from two servings all the way up to 50 servings. And they even offer classic grilling systems that way you can always perfectly cook your paella at home. Folks, visit tienda.com, let them know Albert from Spain on a fork sent you there, and make sure you use coupon code on a fork during checkout for 10% off your order. All right, let's just dive right into this recipe. I'm gonna heat a fry pan with a medium heat and add in half a cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is 120 milliliters. While the oil is heating, I'm gonna roughly chop one large onion. Then we'll add the onion into the hot pan and we'll mix it around. That way all the onion is coated in the olive oil. And since we cut the onion into larger chunks, you don't have to mix this continuously, but do get into every one to two minutes, that way everything evenly sautés. While the onion's cooking, I'm gonna cut three medium-sized potatoes that have already been peeled, washed, and padded dry, each one to small bite-sized pieces that are a quarter inch thick, which is a little over half a centimeter. For this recipe, I'm using Yukongo potatoes, but you can use whatever potatoes you like. After cooking the onion between five to six minutes, and it's nice and translucent, we'll add in the chopped potatoes, and we'll mix them around, that way they're all coated in the olive oil. And once again, you don't have to mix this around continuously, but do get into every three to four minutes, that way everything evenly cooks. While our potatoes are cooking, let's get the rest of the elements ready to put this dish together. I'm gonna to start by cracking in six eggs into a large bowl. We're gonna be using these eggs to make the potato omelet. Then we'll season the eggs with sea salt and freshly crack black pepper. And we'll whisk them together until they're well mixed. Then we'll crack in two eggs into a separate bowl. We're gonna be using these eggs to make the omelet that sits on top. And we'll season them with salt and pepper and then whisk them together. For the final element, let's make the tuna salad. I'm gonna drain two cans of tuna in olive oil into a fine sieve with a bowl underneath. And we'll flake the tuna to remove any of the excess oil. The size of the cans I'm using are four ounces, which is about 110 grams each. You'll find a link where you can get the Spanish tuna I'm using in the description box below. Then we'll add the tuna into a bowl, along with one cup of mayonnaise, which is 240 grams, one small onion that's been finely chopped, finely grated one clove of garlic, if you don't have a grater, you can just finely mince it. And two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley, which is about eight grams. Then we'll season with salt and pepper. And we'll mix it together until everything's well mixed. Okay, let's move back to the potatoes. They've been frying for 20 to 25 minutes, and as you can see, they have a beautiful golden fried color and should be perfectly cooked through. You know, you can always pierce them with a toothpick, and if it easily goes in there, they are ready to go. At this point, I'm gonna season them with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a mix. That way the seasonings are evenly coating all the potatoes. 
Then we'll remove the pan from the heat and transfer the mixture into the bowl that has the six whisked eggs. And we'll give it a mix until everything's well mixed together and then let it sit here for a few minutes. That way all the flavors can develop. In the meantime, I'm gonna heat the same fry pan with a medium to low medium heat. Important to use a lower heat when you're cooking your omelets. That way they don't brown too quick in the outside and they fully cook in the inside. And if your pan has no olive oil left over from the potatoes, yeast will in about one tablespoon, which is 15 milliliters. After a couple minutes, we'll add in the potato and egg mixture. And make sure to spread it around, that way it's on a single flat layer. After three to four minutes, it's time to flip the omelet to cook the other side. Now before I do that, I like to run a spatula through the outer edges. This is to ensure that the eggs are not sticking to the pan. Then we'll grab a plate that's slightly smaller than the pan, place it over the omelet, and in one swift move, flip the pan into the plate. Then we'll slide the omelet back into the pan, And using the back of a spatula, you want to compact the omelet from the outer edges towards the center. This is what gives it that classic rounded edge. And we're going to go for another three to four minutes here until those eggs are just cooked through. Once the potato omelet's perfectly cooked through, we'll remove it from the heat. Now using the same pan with the same heat, We'll add in another tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, which once again is 15 milliliters. And we'll add in the two eggs that we whisked, and we're gonna cook this omelet in the same method. Upset, we're gonna go for about one to two minutes per side or until the eggs are just cooked through. Once the omelet is done, let's start assembling our dish. I'm gonna add in the tuna salad over the potato omelet, and you wanna make sure to evenly spread it around. And then we'll top it off with the other omelet. And check it out folks, Tortilla Santanderina, the famous Spanish potato omelet from the north of Spain. Beautiful presentation, super easy to make, and all done in about 40 minutes. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. Seriously folks, I don't think it gets any better than this. This looks absolutely amazing. Here we go. A little bit of tuna salad fell off. I'm telling you, first things first, that potato omelet alone just melts in your mouth. And that tuna salad with the next omelet really takes this dish to another level. Folks, you saw this easy to make, truly the perfect dish for any meal of the day and always next to a crunchy baguette for the ultimate Spanish experience. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Juan Iturri, Rob Haskins, and Daniela Brandt. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and as always, if you're not subscribed, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon. Now we can get notified every time I release new content and to become a part of the Spain on a Fork family. Till the next time, hasta luego.